In this video, we're going to review how BI admins can gain access to a larger set of activity events that would not be typically available in the usage metrics reports. One problem with the usage metrics reports is beyond the fact that they only show the last 90 days, beyond the fact that they have to be created uh, one report at a time, and especially across workspaces uh, one at a time, it becomes very cumbersome to create all these and to review them at scale. So what we've done is we've allowed for BI admins to uh, select multiple workspaces and view all of the activity events that take place in these workspaces. And that, with no restrictions on what is being sh available in the UI. So this opens up a lot of possibilities for BI admins to really slice and dice through their activity usage in a more scalable way using more different operations to, to view. So for instance, to look at complete engagement across all the environment from users, we can start looking at views of reports, views of dashboards, when parameters get updated, reports are renamed, when data sets are edited, and when data sets are created or reports are created. And so here, not only are we seeing data beyond 30 days, we can help build you a database of years worth of our activity history, but we're also able to look at events that are not typically involved and included in the usage metrics report by Power BI. These would be things like updating data set parameters, renaming reports, editing data sets, and creating data sets. And so through data logs, more of this observability and more of this expansiveness of viewing activities is available. Not only is it available in chart view, but also in table view. And so here we can sort by our operations, sort by our date, and start to review uh, consumption method from which users are engaging with our data assets from which workspace, and uh, additionally, being able to look at multiple BI systems at the same time. So whether it be Power BI, Looker, or Mode, being able to see which BI environments are getting the most engagement in certain workspaces or departments is also a feature that we provide. And uh, lastly, we can view usage according to different types of assets. For instance, dashboard usage, data set usage, and report usage. And all of this will be available uh, as soon as uh, BI Admin connects their connector to specific workspaces. The last 30 days of activity will be provided and the data will be kept up to date on either an hourly, daily, or weekly schedule. This activity data is used to also notify BI admins when issues arise related to certain activity.